Today's video is about my ownership review of the KTM Duke 200 which has completed around 4000 kilometers. In this video, I will try and cover all of the questions that I have received via Instagram personally. The first point for today are the brakes on the KTM. The KTM comes equipped with a dual channel ABS by Bosch which gives amazing braking performance. I have never had an instance till date where my brakes have given up and caused problems to me. The bike stops where I want them to. The only problem that I face is that it does not come with switchable ABS which does not allow me to maneuver easily on off-roads. I know this is not an off-roading machine but since I use it a lot for touring, I wish it comes as an option. The bike comes with a 17 inch wheel and MRF tires which are pretty good. It does offer great confidence on the highways, however cornering and off-roads are a different story altogether. You can see the threads on my bike and it still has a few thousand kilometers left on them. It's all about how you take care of your bike. As you all know, the bike comes with a 200cc engine, however, it generates a power of 25 PS which is pretty fast. It also pushes a torque of around 19.5 Nm which can get you out of sticky situations easily. It has a liquid cooled engine and a coolant, it does a pretty good job. Riding the bike when you're stuck in traffic is a whole different issue. The bike will run. However, you're gonna have a tough time keeping your legs close to the engine. The engine emits a lot of heat and it's sometimes unbearable even though you're wearing jeans. The Duke comes with the halogen setup which a lot of people think are useless. However, I have ridden the bike in complete darkness in the guards and the stock bulb have surprised me. It lit up the road well enough for me to have good visibility up to around 25 to 35 meters. The Duke comes with a tank capacity of 11 liters and it gives me a mileage of anywhere between 30 to 35 kilometers per liter on the highways. A tank full will easily cover you a distance of around 300 to 350 kilometers. I don't use the bike in the city, I only use it mainly for traveling or touring. The seats of the Duke are pretty comfortable. I've done completed rides of 500 plus kilometers without any issues. The seat height of the Duke stands at around 810 mm which converts to about 2.65 feet. I stand at a height of about 5.10 and I do not have any problems getting on or off the bike. I can even touch the ground with both my feet with ease. Let me demonstrate. luggage or touring i usually do weekend rides which last around two to three days and i only carry two bags with me one small backpack for my camera gear and the other for my clothes i'm able to easily mount both the bags on the rear seat with the help of just two bungee cords and it stays there until i get them off I've completed two services till now and I have only spent a total of 2030 rupees for both services. I know it is surprising and here's the proof, see for yourself.
Like me, there might be a few people who want an off-roading machine like the Himalayan, but also want the power that comes with the KTM. I know both of these machines are from two different segments, so I won't even try to compare them. This is just to show you the size and the looks of the Duke and the Himalayan. What do you guys think about the Duke 200? Do you think it's a good touring machine? Write down your comments if you have one already or are planning to get one. You can also message me on Instagram if you have any doubts or clarifications. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends if they're planning to buy one and finally, don't forget to subscribe. Please also check out my other travel videos if you're interested in traveling or motor vlogging. This is me signing off for today. I will see you in the next video. Oh, oh, oh.